To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I like to put some fading text on top of. Let's begin by right clicking inside the empty space on your timeline and selecting add a video track so that you have two video tracks. Now go up to open other and select text. In the pop-up, type your desired text and hit OK. Drag the text clip from the viewer onto the track above your video on the timeline. And I'm just going to position my time marker over my new clip so that I can see my text. OK, now as you can see, it added a transparent video clip to our timeline that has a text filter. My text is a little small though, so I'm just going to change its size so that you'll be able to see the fade better. Now let's fade our text by clicking the plus button to add another filter. Type fade into the search box. Select fade in video to add the filter to your transparent video clip. By default, it fades in our text from black, which is probably not what you want. So check this box for adjusting the opacity instead of fading with black. Okay, and now I have a nice looking fade in. To adjust the duration of your fade, you can either adjust it manually in the filters area, or you can go over to the keyframes tab. In here, just drag this circle on your clip to adjust the fade's duration. Finally, to fade out your text, click the plus button to add another filter to your transparent video. Type fade into the search box. This time, select fade out video. Okay, once again, my text is fading from black, so be sure to check the adjust opacity checkbox. All right, and now my text fades out nicely. To see both your fades in action together, just go back over to the timeline. Now, as you can see, I added both a fade in and fade out. And remember, you can adjust the fade's duration at any time by selecting either of the fade filters and going over to the keyframes tab. Okay, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.